You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Every moment, present moment, is sacred moment. Right from the start, bam, hit that record button. Benjamin record button. In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips for shooting street art slash abundant buildings, which I have learned making the video that you just saw. Bam, move. The tip number one, you must use your foreground. I'm in the house. I like hiking. When you shoot street art, abundant places or buildings like the one you just saw in my video, you don't have a subject there because nobody's there. The building is abundant. Everybody left. So the absence of the subject makes your video less catchy and interesting. In this case, what I found very useful is to add to my footage as much depth as possible by playing around with the foreground. Just have a look at these tish just have a look at these two shots. It is obvious which one is more pleasant for the eye. The one where the foreground is engaged. Or well, let's take this one as an example. Here I first preface the viewer with a far look of the Joker graffiti. Then I show the opposite direction of the same shot. Then come back to Joker but a bit closer. And next come right to the graffiti to show more details. And even there I engage a bit of this bush on the right side to create more depth. That sequence gives the viewer a full understanding of the space around our subject. I mean Joker. Tip number two. Two, 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 two. Two, two. Very hard to do. Tip number two. Move your camera, but don't move it too much. <laughs> this one works in combination with the previous tip. When you engage your foreground, the camera movement is important to make that foreground come to life. But too much motion can create the opposite effect. This one I realized when editing in post. This video I shot with a gimbal that a friend of mine, Kyle, borrowed me. It was actually my first experience shooting with a stabilizer and I thought I could jump around like crazy and the gimbal would take care of it and smooth it out. Now we know that the gimbal it's a very good help to make it nice and smooth but I have to take it easy as well and make my movements as smooth as possible. You see? Tip number three. You want to crank up that frame rate along with your shutter speed. Usually when shooting a roll we shoot 24 frames per second with double shutter speed which gives us that natural cinematic motion blur. When I for example right now waving my hand you can see the blur from the movement that what our eye considers natural motion blur. But in this type of video which is practically a b-roll clip I would like to have more details and less blur. Which by the way I hadn't realized before I sat down to edit. So I myself shot this clip with 24 frames per second and 50 shutter speed. Oh, by the way for example in this shot you can see how unnecessary this motion blur is in this particular shot. So next time when I shoot something like that, I will choose 60 frames per second or even higher. By the way, another great advantage of shooting with a higher frame rate, for example 100 frames per second, is that when you put it on your 24 frames per second timeline, each second of that clip becomes 5 seconds on your 24 frames per second timeline. It makes your footage... it makes your foot... it makes your footage look... look... Luch, luch, luch. It makes your footage. It makes your footage. Luch, luch, luch. It makes your foot. Foot. Feet. Feetball. Football. Why we have football when we have two feet? Feetball. If you have one foot, you don't play football, right? You just sit. 
It makes your footage look like socks. Looks like socks. Looks like socks. Look like look 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 look. <laughs> it makes your footage way smoother and helps a lot with those micro jitters, especially with a handheld. So it looks nice and smooth. Tip number four: sound design is important. Important. Sound is way more than 50% of the whole watching experience, especially when you shoot street art. That's what makes those pictures come to life. The way I do it is extremely simple. First I choose the music, the main soundtrack of the clip, which serves as the foundation for the mood of the clip. Right from the beginning it sets the vibe I want. The song for this clip I got from the website hellothematic.com. I will leave the link below in the description. On this website you can download copyright and music for free and use it on your content as long as you credit the author in the comment section which doesn't seem a big deal for me so after i got the music i started hunting specific sounds for each shot for this clip all the sounds i used i got from youtube itself let me quickly show you how to do it for example i need a sound of footsteps i type in youtube search footsteps sound effect no copyright after i choose the one that seems suitable i copy the link and go on the website y2made.com and paste that link in the search window right here. And next, I choose MP3 and click download. That's it. Simple, effective, and more importantly, for free. And the last tip number five, camera movements and angle diversity. Again, because of the absence of a subject, I try to employ as many different angles and camera movements as possible to make it more interesting and eye-catchy. You throw your eye, I catch it, and go to the base, Touchdown. In this particular clip I try to align all my movements in the same fashion, backwards and from the right to left, which by my thinking should have created the feeling of unease and unsettlement. I wanted to deliver the message that everything comes back to its original state. Once a busy fancy building would inevitably turn into ruins, once beautiful inhabited planet would unavoidably turn into a deserted piece of rock spinning through the cosmos. And maybe just maybe, this simple thought would make the viewer appreciate and enjoy their life a little bit more without regret and rush. And as Alan Watts once said, every moment, present moment, is sacred moment. Peace. You're not afraid of the dark, are Every moment, present moment, is sacred moment.